Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Well, Everton are starting to be linked with managers with uh, a lot of speculation about Sean Dyche. More from the fan base, I'd say, rather than the outside media. The outside media seem to be still quite okay with uh, with Sean Dyche managing Everton. But a few of them are starting to get onto it. Um, and the 442 of have... Uh, the old, the old magazine, the old publication, saying Graham Potter is in uh, is one of the one of the names now emerging. Um, there has been a few rumours about Graham Potter possibly talking to maybe potential future owners. Um, he has been linked with us, and people are saying maybe he's getting into position to. Maybe, maybe. I keep on saying maybe loads, don't I? But maybe be the next Everton manager. Also linked is Sergio Conceição, uh, the Portuguese manager, who also doesn't have a job at the moment um, and has been linked by some publications as well. And I think both of them both of them are good managers for, for different reasons. Uh, Conceição has won a lot of trophies. Um, and who knows? There's a... People love people love a Portuguese manager, don't they? So, who knows? This could be something that, um, you know, in the next ten days, in the next ten days, who knows? The ownership situation: three huge games for Everton, Manchester United, Wolves at home, and then the Mayside derby. It's a big time for Everton, I think. In the next next ten days or so, fans are starting to get a little bit worried about the whole thing. So, we will wait and see what happens there. Um, bit of. Everton Stadium news today. Things are starting to uh, ramp up a little bit. The virtual venue 3D tool has been launched today. Let's have a little look at what that's all about. So basically, this is a 3D tool so where you can find your seat. So it's an, it, you press on the uh, stadium, the, the bit you want, then you press around the area, and then you get this view from whatever area you pick where you can go 360 degree from that area it's not exact seats but it's you know near enough um this is of course the south stand you're looking at here and you can look right at the back there if you were at the back you get views of the city um and you can look all the way around uh, and you can do that all the way around the ground using this tool uh we will put the link to that in the description of this video so you'll be able to check out where you might want to possibly sit. You'll be able to see all the different views of the the ground. Maybe there's a view that you've got your heart set on, but you can use this to see whether it's right for you, whether you can have a look at, like, you know, you'll see how high you have to sort of have to climb um, and get a good idea of where it might be best for you in the new ground. Or maybe you're just nosy and just want to have a look at all the different views within the, within the ground and what it'll look like. This tool will enable you to, to do that. Um, Maybe if, you, if you've got one of those, like, vir, uh, you know, the old virtual headsets, maybe you could, like, know the cardboard ones, you could put your phone in it and have a good look around. That'd be that'd be good, wouldn't it? And you'd be able to see all the different areas of the ground. So um, that has been launched today. You, obviously, you can just look at the... You can't pick your seat or anything like that. That doesn't happen until January. Um, but you can have get a good idea of where you want to be within the ground. So that's a great tool that the club have launched today. Also, the club have launched the Club View. This is uh, in the East Stand Upper. It's an exclusive area with a private concourse. Uh, the seats are on the halfway line, so a really good, really, really good um area as i said private private bar uh with ex players just 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 milling about just you know just milling about get to go and see an ex walk over meet an ex player have a little chat with them while you're having a, a bevy you get to you can get something to eat in the area as well um this is for season ticket holders this is for people who right now are gonna get, gonna pick their seat this is an area of the ground that you be able to pick uh, if you want to sit in there, the tickets are twelve hundred pounds, and I believe they're nine hundred pounds for concessions. So it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not massively expensive. I mean, I don't know that compared to what the actual tickets are going to be. But for some people, this mightn't be massive, massively expensive. You know, an area where you get a great seat, you get your own private bar. You know, you know you're going to be able to sit down and, and have a chat and. Uh, I believe that you'll be able to look out the back of it and get great views of the Fan Plaza and Everton Valley and, and that side of it as well. So, listen, 
some people will be all over this. Um, obviously, in the West, we have the other facilities which are all sold out now. This is for the you know the match match go, match goer who fancies something a little bit more. So it is they are seasonal memberships. It is for the entire season. You get your seat for the season, but it's a little bit more than just a season ticket. And as I said, it's it's a private area with a private bar and. As I said, if this is something you like the look of, get over to Everton's website and um, check it out and uh, find out more details over there. And finally, uh, Christian Norgaard's red card from the weekend has actually been rescinded for on the challenge against Jordan Pickford. Now, I'm not really, I'm not really that particularly bothered about this. It happened. It come and went. It probably would have been better if he had been sent off. I just find this stuff mad that a lad who was sent off because. The referee went and had a good look at the screen after a guy in a VAR booth told him to go and look at the screen and three days later gets rescinded. I just... Listen, I'm not sitting here all dead angry or anything about the situation. I just... That to me is just... What's going on in football? If a referee and a VAR, ref, you know, can't... If the two of them think that's a red card, why on someone on a Wednesday is someone saying it's not a red card? I find that mad in football so listen if you can put your studs into a goalie's knee so be it so be it or a shin or whatever so be it if that's what football has decided that's what football has decided but i just think it's crazy that three days later somebody can make that decision when two referees on the day made a different decision and looked at it on a tv screen both of them looked on a tv screen i find that just crazy so listen good luck to him good luck to him we move on doesn't it doesn't matter now, does it? Doesn't matter to us now. We had our chance to beat them and we didn't. So there you go. Right, there you go. Uh, the press conference is on Friday, so we won't be doing Sean Dice stuff tomorrow. But I'm sure there'll be loads of other amazing Everton news to talk about. So uh, join us tomorrow on the Everton News Daily. And at one o'clock on YouTube, where we'll be live. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over Toffee TV Premier. Link is in the description. QR co codes come on screen now. See you later. Bye. Bye.